I implore you to ask Ms. Coulter to step down immediately and replace her. A city councilwoman calling for the resignation of the acting police commissioner. Good evening, everyone. I'm Yuki Washington. And I'm Jessica Cartalia. The sparks flew today during a hearing concerning the offensive social media posts made by Philadelphia officers. Eyewitness News reporter Matt Petrillo is live from City Hall with the headlines from today's hearing. Matt? Well, those social media posts were not the only controversies here at City Hall today. That council member calling for the acting police commissioner to step down, all because of a single photo from more than 20 years ago. I implore you to ask Ms. Coulter to step down immediately and replace her. That's the surprise statement made today by Philadelphia Council Member Cindy Bass after she brought up a 1994 photo that recently surfaced. It shows Philly's acting police commissioner, Christine Coulter, wearing a t shirt that reads, LAPD, we treat you like a king. Some believe it makes light of the cop beating of Rodney King, a construction worker who later became an activist. It's inconceivable that she was unaware that the t-shirt referenced the widely publicized brutal beating of a citizen. Coulter immediately apologized for wearing the shirt. Never made that to, in my mind that it was a Rodney King shirt. When framed in that reference, absolutely you can see that. Coulter also announced today several internal changes following the discovery of racist, anti-Muslim and even violent social media posts made by hundreds of officers. The police department has committed to acquiring the techn technological resources necessary to actively monitor the social media accounts of active officers. Today's meeting comes after a watchdog group called the Plainview Project published a report about the controversial post back in June. So far, the Philadelphia Police Department has fired at least 13 officers. Many more are on desk duty, and today we learned nine officers have resigned. That upsets some council members. Never hold them accountable. Well, council, Councilman, the reason that I believe they all resigned was because of the investigation that was done. And despite today's call for Philadelphia's acting police commissioner to step down, in the past she has said she wants to permanently become Philadelphia's next top cop. Reporting live outside of Philly City Hall, Matt Petrillo, CBS3 Eyewitness News. Thank you, Matt.